Hey kids, today we're going to make a Nerf plate carrier because as we all know Nerf wars are very dangerous and it's important to be safe while having a Nerf war. So this video isn't just for fun, it's a necessity. So let's get started. So before we make the carrier, we have to make the plate because it's a plate carrier. See what I'm saying my dudes? Alrighty, that should work. I'm just kidding. That plate is going to be about this big. Boom! Whoa, I bet you didn't realize there were two of them. And they're both double thick. Bet you forgot that you had a back and a front side of your body. See so you guys, use double thick cardboard or otherwise this entire project is pointless you'll die but I have to admit they are kind of kind of dull you know so uh, let's uh, there we go that's a little better wait kids but the creative juices are flowing we're not done yet they're gonna like match oh see I'm an artist I, I'm I'm a I'm a true artist. Now I know most of you are probably sitting at home right now behind your screens thinking, Ua, you stupid. Why did you make the plate first? Well, you'll see. As my English teachers have always told me, show, don't tell. Paper. Plates. You know what you get with those two combined? Paper plate. But of course I'm just kidding. We don't need that. We need that. So what I just did was I created a carrier for, oh, come on, there we go, the plate. Twice! Hey guys, go check out this guy on Instagram. He looks like me. Yeah. What's your Instagram name? It's at Alex Harshbarger. Great, he gets a shout out because he's yeah. in the notification squad. That's a thumb. I'm in the notification yep. squad. Yep. However, obviously paper is not strong enough to withhold the wear and tear of wearing. So. We can strengthen it and make it look cool all at the same time using this wonderful, uh, wonderful material we call quack tape. So there you go, kids. I've made two of them. Now before I begin the next portion of this project, I want to go ahead and say that I'm making this sort of minimalistic. Uh, it's pretty small on me personally, like just a protected area. Um, however, you could scale it up or down as much as you wanted to in relation to the proportions of your own body. Yay. It's pretty much just a matter of preference. But now I should stop talking. So these, mis amigos, will be used, uh, will be the shoulder straps, which shall be used to, uh, you know, save my life from whatever foam is flung my way. Um, yeah, so, uh, so far so good. Next up is the side straps. Hopefully I have enough black duct tape. This, my friends. This. This is a problem. Ooh, is it like Time for a montage or something? Heck yeah it is. Yay! Guys, follow this man on Instagram too because uh, he he's in the notification squad now. Look at that, look at that. Wait. Oh, yeah. Turn on that bell. Get that bell. Oh bell. yeah. Oh yeah. You'll love to see yes. it. Yes. What's your, what's your Instagram name there? Uh, Cookie Karn. Cookie Karn. Yeah. Alrighty, go follow him because he wants you to follow him, so you should. Isaac, are you excited to get some black duct tape? Yeah, sure. 
Yay. Look at this beautiful tree. Out of all the times I've been here to Hobby Lobby, I cannot seem to find the black duct tape. Guys, this is a problem. If we can't find black duct tape, this project's gonna die. What will we do then? Cry? Yeah, I thought so. Or we'll just have to ask somebody. It might be reduced to that. Mom, I can't find the duct tape. I, 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 just, I know there is some, but I, I don't know where. Let's, let's go find it. Stop videoing. Guys, we found some. Yay. Are you ladies and gents, boys and girls, males and females? We're ready to jump back into this project. So, uh, so these things will be like the side straps for the sides of this spicy bod here. Boom, shakalaka me alpaca. I shall now proceed to fire up the gun of glue that is hot. Oh yeah. So I forgot to start the slow-mo, but basically what I did was I just marked on the side pieces where this thing in where it will stick a diddle to the to the thing in ding. So uh, now we have something that's looking pretty spicy. You can kind of see how I did it in there, like like that and and that and that. Uh, so I think you understand. But we're not done yet, kids. Because of the nature of these straps. I cannot put this on, but I saw this coming, so we're all good. This is not, as it turns out, my first suit of armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow! So the, the the amount of space between these two pieces, like the overlap, was too s uh, small. So I just need to extend it a little bit with some extra duct tape so that we can fit uh, these thingamaj thingamajiggers on there. So it works. Extension. Kids, now let me let you in on a little secret here. When you're doing, when you're using Velcro and you want to put it on nicely so that everything lines up in the end, you put it together before you put it on what you're putting it on. So kind of like this. Then you peel off the backing, right? That. That's really easy. This next one's gonna be really difficult. There we go. And like that. And then I think I want, uh, I think I want the fuzzy side to be on the pot that I'm going to rip off and stuff. This, and then you just stick it down like that. Beautiful, beautiful. See, look how nice that looks. And then you put it, oh wait, crud. Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's better. And then we take this and we, uh, Line it up, because you're not really going to be getting this off too easily afterwards. And then, squish it. Ah, yeah, that's nice. That's that's real nice. Then you're going to want to want to let it sit for a little bit, because if you don't, it'll come off. Oh, sorry about the weird voice, guys. I, I really don't know what I'm doing with my life right now. So, 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 I can actually put it on now, and it'll be like, cool, so I'll do that for you real quick. We are. If it's nice and snug, it's nice and tight, I don't know if the back is straight or not, I never will. So, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, and now, you can do whatever you want to, like, deck it out with all your gear and whatever you do. For now, I'm just gonna show you, you know, how I do mine. Or... I'm going to do mine. Gotta be honest, guys, I've been looking for something to do with this sticker for a long time, and I finally found something. Alrighty, so uh, here's the setup, guys. It's not much, really. It's just 
three mag holders. I decorated a little bit with some white duct tape, some fancy stripes up here, and of course, the classic out of darts sticker, because uh, who's going to give you darts when you run out of darts if they don't know that you're out of darts? But also, I should put it on for you and like, you know, like... Let's take out the mags, actually. There you have it, folks, the final, final thing. This looks pretty good. Now I can come out of every nerf port alive instead of dead. But on another note, you could add like a sock grenade pouches here. I don't happen to have sock grenades, so obviously I didn't make any because that'd be dumb and pointless. And I am not dumb and pointless, thank you very much. And we will do a cool montage here once my uh, hair is dry and I've gotten a solid 12 hours of sleep. But, uh, for now, I guess we'll just wait here. A few moments later. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this totally tactical episode of Cardboard Craft. My tacticalness level is totally like over 9,000. As states my astronaut boombox t-shirt. Also, if you were wondering how I made that totally radical holster, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And while you're at it, while I have you captivated in my glory, be sure to go get some merch and uh, subscribe to PewDiePie because save pewds, my dudes. But most of all, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.